Hello, you're watching the Tov Jewish News Channel. With me today is lawyer Ilan Sion, the initiator of the security barrier between in Judea and Samaria and Israel. Ilan, welcome. Nice, yeah, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Ilan. So we've seen recently the war in the Gaza envelope, in all the area surrounding Gaza, and the horrible massacre that Hamas has done in this area. And do you see it as a step in Islam's conquest and domination over the West? I think, uh, I think it's uh, absolutely clear. We have to understand that the whole Western world is under attack of Islam. Not only, by the way, the Western world, also other parts of the world. For example, Africa, East Asia. But um, <clears throat> yes, we are a part of this. This is a part of a, of a, a process. Of, uh, of the Islam becoming uh, dominant all over the world. And this is its aim, to obliterate other, uh, other uh, religions. And Israel is one of the fronts. I mean, we are Jewish Israelis living in Israel. According to Islam, this is an Islamic land. And uh, we are under attack, of course, from the Hamas. And under why this basis, see... yeah. What is the reason that you see that Israel is such an acute topic in you know, the Muslim, the Arab conscience? Why is this fight specifically so important to them? They have other areas of war, for example, in Chechnya, right? Or in the, in the Balkan region with all the Bosnia war. Why Israel specifically? Well, first of all, that, that's a good question. First of all, uh, I think that everything matters to them even in the United States, England, and every place. This, we are just now in, in a position where it's more easy, I think, for them, because we have here also the, the, this notion of the, the Palestinians who, who lived here, and they believe, I mean, according to our national beliefs, that they need to, to conquer Israel back from the Jewish Israelis. So the, the, the national idea and the, and the Islamic idea are, Connect. are connected together, and it's, more, it's, it's easier, maybe. But uh, let be no mistake about that. The same process would, be, would take place in all Western countries. This is, this is only a question of time. And uh, well, this this is this is a grim, I mean, forecast, but th th that's that's reality. Yeah. So we've also recently seen all the huge thousands of people demonstrations in the Western world, in London, in Paris, in America, right? And do we see those huge pro-Palestinian demonstrations as the show of power of the Muslim world in the West? Because now their enemy is Israel, and their and their demonstrations will go under the pro-Palestinian banner, but when in another time their enemy will be, for example, France or America, the banner will change. Do we see it the same way I see it? I think your, I think your analysis is bright. I think it's exactly uh, said, said at the point. Uh, what, what we see now is just, uh, just another banner. I agree with you. And, and we have, there are some aspects of that because when, when, they, when they use this power against the, their own land countries, the countries you know, they have to, to change I mean, the, 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 their attitude toward Israel. And we can see the, the change of attitude from those countries toward Israel. Israel is, 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 uh, is becoming more and more secluded internationally. And th this process is because of this enormous power of Islam and all these um, supporters of the, of the Palestinian idea. And it's 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 even get uh, stronger by the by the way we act because we act in Israel these days, l let's say in uh, in uh, in defeatism. I mean we, we we choose the way to to try to to release uh, terrorists uh, for for host the hostages, for example. This is this is unheard of. I mean by 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 Muslim ears. I mean even even in our if in, in, even in our standards in the past, I mean in the 70s, in, in the 1970s, Israel has never thought about releasing a terrorist for, uh, for uh, freeing, hostages. For freeing hostages, for especially for terror organizations. We remember, everybody remembers the, the Munich, uh, the Olympic Games in Munich and the attack against the Israelis. Nobody ever even, even thought about you know, considering the idea of, ch of releasing uh, one 
a terrorist for this sport, sportsman. And of course, they paid for it in their lives. And even their families of this sportsmen, of sportsmen never accused the Israeli government, the Golda government, who, who didn't want to, to have any uh, negotiations with, uh, with, uh, with uh, Black September for releasing the hostages. So, so what we are doing now in Israel, we are just showing how weak we are. Well, and, you've and said a very interesting point. You said that the moment you negotiate with terrorists and you release terrorists to, uh, for them to release your hostages, the Muslim eyes see it as a weakness. But how exactly do they see all the ordeal with releasing hostages in their perception? What do you mean? I mean, this is the point. They see it as, as a weakness, as, as cowardice. It's uh, for them, uh, for them that they see you as someone who is not, not really committed to fight for his land. And, uh, f and, and this, this gives them the, the, the idea that they can really obliterate you, exterminate you. So th th these people understand strength. And if you show weakness, this, like, you know, like uh, herds of sharks, you know, they, 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 they feel it like blood, you know. So if we want to survive here as Israelis, and I'm speaking not of, now only about Israelis, this, this is a lesson to all, of, all the world. All the, all the other uh, Western countries in the world, and even not Western countries, I mean all non-Islamic countries, they all have to understand against Islam you have to be strong, you cannot show any weakness, you cannot release any, host, or any, uh, any um, uh, terrorist for, for hostages or anything like that. You have to pay the price. And if you don't pay the price, you'll pay, pay much greater price as what happened to us in, in, on October the 7th with this horrible massacre. Ilana, if we zoom out from Israel's example, and we take, for example, a, the randomest country in the world, for example, I don't know, Croatia. Croatia has now a hostage situation with Muslim terrorists that took some hostages. You're saying that there, you cannot negotiate with them. You cannot release any terrorists to free those hostages. So basically you're saying that these hostages are doomed and you cannot do anything to free them? No, what I'm saying is that you have to, to fight for their release and uh, to do anything for that. For example, let's, let's take the, the, the Entebbe, Entebbe operation. operation in 1976. In 1976, um, the Fatah uh, abducted uh, 100 Israel Israelis from the Air France flight to Entebbe, uh, and took them to Entebbe in Uganda. And Israel did this magnificent operation and, and, and saved them, okay? This is, this is some, this is a, we, we pay for that. We took the risk and we, we released them. But we, nobody ever thought about, at that, that time it's possible to release even one terrorist for them. And we all knew at that time why we do it. Because one, you, once you do that, once you, you collapse against the, the pressure, then you are, you, you, it's, it cannot be stopped. Okay, and now we are suffering the consequences of the Shalit uh, uh, deal. deal. Shalit deal, yes, in, uh, I mean, 2011, I think. So we paid for the Shalit deal now, and we are going to pay for this deal in the future, but this payment every time will be much greater. So we have to change from the, all the, from the basis. We need, to, we need to, 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 to return to what we were in the 1970s. Otherwise, I don't see any chance we can survive here. And what would you say to the West who views Israel as an occupying force that is you know, occupying and persecuting these poor Palestinians? What would you say to them? Why, why is their perception wrong? Well, first of all, I think it's the, really the opposite situation. We are the weak people. We are surrounded by hundreds of millions of Muslims and Palestinians as well, part, the part of them, who want to, want to exterminate us. No question about that. Now we just got this, uh, this, 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 what happened in the October, this is the October the 7th was exactly the example for that. But the world really does. The, the world do, really doesn't want to see that, and it is not because it's not because it's not the truth. The world doesn't want to see the truth, because the world acts according to the power of the of the parties. When you are weak and the other side is so strong, 
everybody will side with a strong person. I mean, in 1967, for example, we, we had a, 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 a great, I mean, a war in the Six, uh, six Days War. We, we occupied huge parts, I mean, Sinai and Golan. Uh, Golan and everything, and we won against three other armies, I mean, countries' armies, not terrorist organizations' armies, right? Egypt, right? Syria, yeah, Jordan. Yeah, Syria, Syria, Jordan, and Egypt. And after this uh, war, Israel became, I mean, everybody all over the world really admired Israel. Moshe Dayan was a, a, a become an admired person. I mean, all the world talked about us because we were strong. The world understands, uh, goes with the strong. Now, what happens now is that we showed weakness, great weakness, first of all, with the massacre, and even greater weakness with, um, re re with, without retaliation for this, for this massacre, just, you know, collapsing like that. So this is what we get now. We get now the world that sees that as is we, uh, uh, us as weak, and he, he doesn't want to, to side the weak, the, the weak side. We, if, we, if we change, the, 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 the change everything and we, we, we start to fight, and what, what, what I mean by fight is first of all conquering, first of all, there is only one way to eliminate Hamas, only one way. You have to conquer the West, um, uh, sorry, the, the Gaza Strip. Hmm. It's very, by the way, it's, it's, not, it's, not, it's not complicated. You just, have, just need to occupy this, first of all, strap of land just next to the, what we call the Philadelphia axis in the south of the Gaza Strip, and then, in, uh, uh, and then uh, besiege in that way, besiege the Gaza Strip, and then start to cleanse it. I mean, just clear it from, from, uh, from Hamas forces. For our viewers, the Philadelphia axis is basically the uh, barrier between Israel uh, between Egypt and the Gaza Strip. It's That's basically right. the passage through which all the contraband and uh, all, all the illegal shipments get to Hamas. That's right. That's right. And if we, do, if we did that, every, everything would, would, have been, uh, would have changed because once we, we, take, I mean, we take control over the West Bank, then it's possible really to eliminate Hamas because Hamas is part of Gaza. It's not, it's not a different thing. It's, it's not people say that, well, Hamas is, is a different part. If you take Hamas from Gaza, everything will be okay. No, if we take Hamas now and put, him, put them on an island in the Pacific Ocean, for example, and return Take them and every, all the weaponry out to, to, uh, to uh, an island in the, Pacific, uh, in the Pacific and return after a few years to, to the Gaza Strip, we'll find again Hamas and again the weapons. Why? Because Hamas is Gaza. This is, uh, this is uh, something that is, uh, 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 that, that is growing in Hamas and uh, growing in Gaza and will grow in every Palestinian population which is not a state. I mean a real state, because we have to remember that the Palestinians do not, they're they, they, they not settling for, for uh, making uh, their home country in Gaza Strip. They want to, to, to establish their state in Tel Aviv, on our bodies. So you said that Hamas is basically the expression of Gaza. It's what that's Gaza right. is. Yeah, that's right. right? But is it only the Gazan expression or the whole Muslim expression? Because what I mean by that is, is Islamic terrorism in general an expression of the Islamic faith as it is nowadays? Well, first of all, it's a, it's, 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 the, it's the double expression because because Hamas is is a, also ex, is expression of Islam first of all, but also of its expression of the Palestinian uh, um, Palestinian will to to establish a state. So it's something mixed together. Yes, right. it's only it has national aspect and has a. Re, um, uh, religious aspect, but for example, let me give you an example. If you could see that the Hamas um, assassinated uh, all the, I mean, many Thai workers. There, I, I don't remember the number, but thirty. I there were right. line, but they, they, they killed them. They they knew that they are from Thailand. Yeah, right. Why 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 would they kill? I'm asking you, why would they kill? Workers from from Thailand. Just Why? an expression of brutality. No, I think I think this is expression of, uh, of of the Islamic aspect. We have to remember that even the people from Thailand are are uh, 
um, I mean, uh, they, they should be eradicated by, by, by right. Islam. Because, because they're they are, Buddhist. Yeah, yeah, because they're other people, right? So, and, and I read something about that. Somewhere I read about it, that this, this, this is really the reason, by the way. Some, some Palestinians say that. Even, so, I think that the, their behavior shows that they, are, they have two aspects. I mean, the, 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 the principal aspect is really the Islamic aspect, but of course they have this national idea. It's not like Daesh, I know it's uh, ISIS, sorry. It's not like ISIS in Iraq, exactly. This is a different Islam. This is Palestinian Islam. Mm -hmm. So the, 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 it has the two, I think it has the two aspects in it. So both Palestinian nationalism and Islamic fundamentalism. Yeah, you see, you see Hamas together, yeah. connection of yeah, those yeah, yeah, two yeah. things. Yes, yes, yes. But still, it's the. I think the Islamic, uh, the Islamic idea is, is the main one. Yeah. You mentioned another very interesting point. You were talking about the weakness of Israel, and that our current con conception is basically a, a cause. Uh, was caused by that weakness, right? Our conception of seeing Hamas as a partner and being weak and being nice and freeing terrorists uh, in return for hostages. Well, we kind of see the same process going in the whole West, right? We see the West not being militant, not willing to fight for its own country, for its own motherland, and for its people. Is that part of the same process, or is the Israeli process distanced from that process? We have our own independent process of weakening. Yeah, that's a great question. First of all, I think we are all humans, and it's very difficult to stand against a religious strong, so strong and committed to conquer and kill you. So everybody which is, is it's, it's weaker than the Islam, and everybody, let me tell you the truth, all the religions in the world are weaker than Islam. So, so when you're weak, you're trying to, to bury your head in the sand, and you don't want to see the, the reality, because if you see the reality, if you admit that, you have to, to make changes, for example. It's quite obvious that if you, if you, for example, a German person, yes, so you need to, to change all the, all the democratic system in order to discriminate between Muslims and non-Muslims. And, and the, the West is not willing to discriminate, any, discriminate anymore. It sees it as a discrimination. But these people from Islam are willing to kill you, to kill everybody which is not Muslim. And this is, the, this, this is their notion, this is the idea. So in Germany, they'll kill, in the end, or this is what they aim at, killing all the non-Muslim Germans. That's, that's very easy, very simple. And uh, the West is not willing to pay the price. And to pay the price here is to waive all this idea, ideas of, I mean, Western ideas, progressive ideas, and return to the notions of the 19th century, for example, or before, of patriotism, of discrimination with new people, if, of, of uh, some people call it, I mean, uh, defending, democr uh, defending democracy. So, so, so the world, the, 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 unless the world changes, it's doomed. And it's only a question of time. It can, it can take hundreds of years. And can, I, I don't know how much time it will take, but it, it will happen. And the war is going to have great uh, wars on that in every country. Every country will be the same, and it's the same situation as in Israel. Yeah, no Do question. you see that uh, the Western world and Israel are in the same boat, basically? And if, because of that, if that's true, then uh, America and the West should be together with Israel, supporting Israel? Well, it's not a qu that's a good question. It's, 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 it reminds me of 1938. 1938 and the Second World War, I, rem I remind everybody, there was some kind of, it, it, it reminds a little bit, it re resembles a little bit, because there it was, there was Czechoslo Czechoslovakia, and, and Hitler, we remember, demanded parts of Czechoslovakia. Czechoslovakia wanted to fight, but the Western world sold it to Hitler. Okay, to the to Nazism. Why? Because in the Munich Agreement, because it it felt that it's possible just to feed the angry lion, and the, uh, the lion would not attack them. So this is exactly what happens now. It might happen now. The world is is it's, it's quite the, wor the the world the world is quite um, 
in the same, let's say, in the same situation. I mean, they 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 try to to feed the hungry lion. Hungry lion is Islam, okay. So maybe if they sell us, okay, so it will take more time. So I think it's quite obvious that we will try to, to sell us. And we, play, we are playing to their hands. We are, we are acting like we're making a massacre, in, in, uh, for example, in Gaza. For us, for internal, in, internal purposes, it looks good, right? But for external purposes to the world, it looks like uh, views from the Second World War. Exactly. We can't really bomb all the time. We, we have to remember that we are part of a world that can sell us. And how, how would it sell us? It would sell us, for example, for, for example, in the way of banning us. For example, if the world, the Western world starts to ban Israel, we are doomed. We cannot put ourselves in that situation. So until it's very, now... It's a very interesting point, because in Israel we hear many voices of people saying, why do you care about the, what the West has to say? We just have to destroy Gaza, destroy all the terrorists. And basically you're saying that no, like there is no, it's such, not, it's not there's no such thing. Because all those people do not have any understanding of the, our situation in the world and that we are dependent upon a kind of a support. I'm, not, I'm, I'm the, the last person that would say to, to bow to other countries, no. But there are limits you cannot pass. For example, let me give you an example. If, for example, the world decides to not, do not, not let us uh, participate in the Olympic Games, for example, or even Tell us, for example, just you, you participate under a natural, natural um, flag, like Russia. Now, we are not Russia. We have to understand. Russia is intimidate, intimid, intimidates the world. It has a lot of nuclear power. It can destroy the, the, world, the world many times. We are just 7 million people. So if it happens to us, now this will be the trigger to everybody, you know, uh, regarding us as like, uh, I don't know, South Africa or something, or Rhodesia, you know, Rhodesia, Zimbabwe, yeah. remember? So if this happens, we are doomed again. I mean, we are finished. We, ca we cannot let us be in this, this position. So we have to remember that until now, for example, we could have used this massacre in order to conquer the Gaza Strip. And, in, and, and just verify that there would be no Hamas without killing too many people. You not need, need to kill other people other than the Hamas if you do that by, I mean, entering force to the land. But what we did is using aircraft, just bombing and, you know, and, 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 and destroying Gaza. Yeah, and, and, and it looks like even though we really didn't kill many uh, uh, people. people from Gaza, it looks for the world to the world like uh, Second World War views. It's, we are we are we are doing all the mistakes, and the Hamas really laughs at us. Really, it's unbelievable for them. We are just releasing terrorists. We we give them the views of the Second World War. The the world is against us and because we don't really achieve our goals. Of course, we don't achieve. We we are just going in ex exactly the, the the opposite the way that we should we should have gone. So. So uh, yeah, so 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 we have to change it from the from the basis. Well, I really much hope that we won't become the next Rhodesia. Ilan, it was very nice to speak to you. Thank you to all our Thank viewers you. who saw this interview. You are watching the Top Jewish News channel. Please follow us all, on all of our platforms in the social media, in TikTok, in YouTube, in the WhatsApp, in Telegram, and have a great day. Thank you very much.